Hi, I'm Otis Dealey, technophile. That's my official technophile badge. Do you remember a short while ago when there was all that rain and loads of houses got flooded? Wouldn't it be great if there was technology available to help us out when that happens? In Bangladesh, they get loads of rain. Get a load of that! But scientists and engineers there have come up with some great ideas to beat the flood. So what did they do? Well, first they raised the ground level to get away from the water. Then they built houses on plinths to get even further from the water. They even plonked some plants in the ground to suck up moisture. Their next big decision was what building materials to use. Now there's a lot of straw around here, but it gets soggy when wet, so it's not great at beating a flood. What about bamboo? In Bangladesh, you don't go to a garden centre to buy it, but to a bamboo market. How cool is that? Wow, just look at how long those bamboo stalks are. Bamboo is strong, waterproof, flexible and quite cheap to buy, so you can make quite a good floodproof house out of it. But is there anything even better? Let's start with the walls. Bricks. They're made all over Bangladesh, more expensive than bamboo, but perfect for walls. They're good when compressed, so they'll hold the roof up and they won't get swept away. Bricks it is then. Now, what about the roof? Good roof material needs three properties. Waterproof, light and strong. Let's see what they chose. Will it be bricks? Well, no, that's silly. You can't build a roof from bricks. They're too heavy. Bamboo. It has the right properties, but rain would get through the gaps. Aha! Corrugated iron. Perfect. Really strong, doesn't let the water in, and it's not too heavy. It's as if it were made for the job. Hang on a minute. What's that on the roof? A solar panel. What a great bit of tech that is. I must make a video about that sometime too. So there you have it the perfect floodproof house with all the right materials being used for the right jobs and when you get it right tech like this changes lives lives of children like shilna my name is shirina i am 14 years old shilna told us that she remembers when she lived in a straw house that got flooded she felt very scared but was happy when she managed to save her books now, along with other people who live in flood-proof communities, Shilna feels safe and together with the rest of her community, she can get on with normal life. Earning a living, making food, shopping, chatting with friends and family, going to school, messing about on boats, and of course, playing. Oh look, there's a water pump, another cool bit of tech. This place is full of the good stuff. Helping people build communities that beat the flood is a great example of tech justice in action. Tech justice is about giving everybody access to the technology that's essential for life. For more examples of tech justice in action, take a look at my other two videos, Pump It Up and Marvelous Microbes.